So what do we got going on? We're gonna do right now is we're gonna do watermelon chip. Um, what we're gonna do with the watermelon chip is essentially compress it with a uh, starch. Okay. What that allows us to accomplish is something that typically wouldn't be able to fry and become crispy. Uh, is stabilized with the starch pressed in there. So okay. first thing we do is we slice the watermelon very thin. On a slicer. What I have here is a slurry. Of, it's called Crisco and uh, water. Okay. Take a very thin slice of watermelon. Just give it a soak right in there. And we're going to laminate it. In a sous vide bag. Then what we do is we seal each edge, okay, and then pull a vacuum on it and compress it. And what we're going to end up with is something like this. So what's happened that? is that the starch has been compressed into the cells of the watermelon. Cool. Right. So now all there really is to do is, is, is give it a fry. Release this from the bag, and we'll take it over to the fryer. All right. Okay. We want to get as much moisture out of it as possible. Okay. So we're going to press it between two paper towels. Why doesn't it just break apart in there? Uh, well, the starch has stabilized it. So without the starch, it, since it's mostly water, it would just explode, or right? I mean, it would uh, it break apart. It would boil away. And now with the starch in here. to get just desiccate this a bit. Just let it cool for a minute. As you can see, it's very light. Look at that. So is there any water left in there at all? Or did the no, pretty much uh, it's completely desiccated by the frying. And uh, as it cools, the starch solidifies and stabilizes the watermelon. Did the, did the individual cells have to break in order to be small enough for the starch molecules to get in there and displace the water? With, with the compression uh, process, right. all, all the little vacuoles are replaced, are filled with the, uh, with the starch slurry. So ah, essentially so you're cool. making a potato at watermelon. <laughs> so you have, you have a potato uh, textured watermelon flavor chip, basically. That's weird. Very good. Ah. <laughs> that is so cool.